Hello and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM with Rico the Puppet. All right, we're getting into it. We have our our terror mission here. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. I I haven't played in a few days, so this is me coming back after living for a little bit, and now I have uh, suggestions from some of you who've been watching the videos with uh, uh, future soldiers. I will name. I'm very excited about. There are some very good names that I have coming down the pipe here. Uh, but let's get on with the mission here. Okay, we're gonna send out good old rocket tank. Oh no! Right! <laughs> They've destroyed my rocket tank before and frankly th these things are very expensive so you know you don't want to lose too many of these. Look at this. We got like this little floater here just in the middle of like this Garden of Eden kind of a thing. So I'll take care of this. This is going to be pretty simple. Hopefully. No more garden. Just like that. Awesome. Take that, the environment. Okay, what, what we got here? Sailor Moon. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's the weird like dog-like two-legged things. That's crazy. Okay. I think they're called the Reapers. I think that's what they called them before there. So, I'm going to get the auto shot here. Get three shots on the floater. Hopefully it doesn't notice me. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Sailor Moon. Please don't die. Huh. By the looks of it, oh, it didn't hurt you. That's pretty good. I like that. That's good. Well, let's uh, give it one more try here. There you go, Sailor Moon. Use used all of your action, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna send out uh, who? Uh, Peter Tank the Nankton, with such an exquisite name, you know. All right. Auto shot. We're gonna take shoot this guy right in the butt. I think people's weaknesses are typically in the butt. See, look at that. Didn't even see it coming. Even though he probably should have heard like this guy being shot, he he didn't like even try to look at all. What? There's another person. Oh, now that the Reaper's dead, I can see another one of these guys. This is not good. Okay. Peter, why don't you duck down there? All right, who we're we gonna send next? All right, pug wearing a hat. Perhaps this time he's got like, oh, what kind of hat could he be wearing? Like a chef's hat. He's gonna cook up some aliens. That's that's kind of a weird idea. That, frankly, that's not the, one of my best. You know, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. And frankly, I just want to survive. But the pug wearing a hat, he's now got full armor, too. So now no one can tell that he's a pug, for sure. Like, other... I bet there was a few people who were kind of thinking, I think that guy might be a pug. And now, now they will never know. Okay. We'll send down Filbert. Get him. Oh, right. I forgot to preserve time units. Forgot to click the... Well, Filbert, you're just going to stand... I want to try to get you behind cover. Nope. No, I'm not. I'm just... I joked about that one, I guess. Okay. Why don't we crush down? Okay. Marie Curie, you, you'll stay there. Shant Gibbons. Oh. Shant Gibbons just recovered from his injuries in a previous fight. Yeah, all these people are like pretty high level. So I'm just going to start sending Tommy Lee Jones' eyebrows out to do some investigating. Face this way, maybe. That'll be good. Auto shot. Take him out! That's. Well, that's not good. Hopefully he doesn't like have a grenade or something. Uh, let's see. Finally. Okay, Shant Gibbons. 
He's back, ready to get the revenge for his uh, shot in the leg. I don't know what got injured. He, he was injured for a little while. Oh, we're on the edge of the map here. Okay. Send him up this way. Very good. These people can just wait behind. There we go. A lot of action happening. Doors opening. Lasers being shot. Washington is in a panic. Wait, am I in Washington? I, frankly, it's been long enough that I'm not even entirely sure of what city I'm in. You know, I'm kind of like one of those rock stars who, who rock too hard, you know. The Reaper. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, look at all that health. That's quite a bit. Well, let's get the firing squad on them. One at a time there. So much action. Like, this is like... The, the summer blockbusters have nothing on this turn-based action game. You know? Oh, come on, Filbert. That's lackluster. Clearly you deserve the name Filbert with, with a performance like that. Tommy Lee Jones' eyebrows. He could take you out using... Just a one furrow, but he's going to shoot you instead. Because he's kind of like, it's a, you know, probably one more effective than using the eyebrows. Well, to take a look in there. Ooh. They have the finest wares. You can buy, like, tomatoes and eggplants and, like, boxes of Turpentine? I don't know what that is over there. Okay. Make sure he's facing the right way. Filbert, you're done. Pug wearing a hat. The most adorable, yet the most deadly pug there could be. Well, we'll get you to step out this way. Oh, that's far enough for you, I guess. Peter, tank the nankton. A rookie. But I, I see him as like one of those like... Uh, off the handle kind of co uh, cops, you know, like rigs. Ooh, I should get rigs in here from Lethal Weapon. That'll be a pretty good one. With his long flowing mullet. That's going to definitely help us at the end of 1999. Like this is, like this game is set. This will be good. All right, uh, Shant Gibbons. Doesn't see anything up that way. He's going off on his own. Really, he shouldn't be doing that. But, eh. He's out to get the revenge. Uh, this tank doesn't have enough space to get through anywhere. And people are blocking his way, so... Well. There's only one way out. Blowing up this tree. Perfect. Alright. Send him off that way. Uh, you don't have to save for a snapshot. You can just go out there. Show uh, our mighty force. Do you come me hey. in a bear suit? David the Covney in a bear suit. Oh, I want him out there. He's a, he, he's David the Covney in a bear suit in a power suit. Really, if you think about it, like the bear suit is the power suit. It's getting complicated. It's like very Inception-esque, you know. Oh. People are dying in the streets. Okay. Oh. Oh. We got a shot off. That's pretty good. Oh. I think one of them just, like, committed suicide right there. This is... I was not expecting that. Okay. Sailor Moon. Taking on another one of these Reapers. Shoot. You know, it, it kind of looks like... This thing kind of looks kind of like the smaller brother to, like, Ganon from, you know, Legend of Zelda. Except more dead, you know, now. Okay. 
Send Sailor Moon a little further down. Ooh, sees another. Ooh, floater in the sky. You see, you can tell with the little like blue squares underneath that he's up in the sky. But Sailor Moon sees you and not enough time units. Okay, well, we'll try with the old snapshot there. So, did that guy hit the other person? No, no. Perry Tank the Nank then is okay. All right. Send him out this way. Can, can he not see the person? Oh, now he can. Auto shoot. Come on. Awesome. All right. We'll get uh, we'll go back to focusing on him. Send him down a little way. Tommy Lee Jones's eyebrows. Get in there. Did you see anything yet? Oh not yet. Oh no. Oh. There's still another hedge in the way. Well, Let's do it! Perfect! Well, I, I'm actually going to make you keep going. I'm going to send you out through the debris. we got to preserve these buildings. They cost a lot more than all the trees. Okay. Shant Gibbons. Driven by revenge. Get him while he's not looking. Oh, that's pretty crafty there. That's like a Rambo move, Shant Gibbons. Clearly you earn your awesome name. Okay, we're gonna go down here to Filbert. Um, we got enough people going this way. I'm gonna send you up this way. Through the smoke. Do you call me? In a bear suit. Bet they have the company in the bear suit. I forgot that you were on this away team, so you're going on go out there. Okay, here we go. Macho Man Randy S. You don't want to just pull him out, you know. He he's kind of he's like a main event kind of a guy, you know. Oh yeah. You know, that you don't want to just unleash too much power on these aliens. You gotta, like, have a few tricks up your sleeve, you know. Pug. Kneels down. Turns. Oh, yeah! He had enough time to kill the alien and that telephone booth. Clearly in line with the alien's evil plans. Okay. What we got? Oh. Oh! A reaction shot! Oh, some random dude died. Alright. Um, put you on hold for right now and see so what, what else is going on down here. Oh, I should be remembering to look for a leader. I've just been shooting people left, right, and center. I, I gotta make sure I go look for the peoples. Alright. Hold on. Get my Marie Curie, use her mind probe. Oh, what is this dude? Navigator. He's very shootable. Ooh. Uh, we got Sailor Moon to back you up. Hopefully, hopefully she'll help out here. Center, a couple more squares. Turn it down. Here we go. When I actually get her crouching here. Oh, hope. Oh. Perfect. You know, it's a. I think it's a bold creative choice to make Sailor Moon a uh, probably black man. I you can't tell in these because they kind of go pretty generic. On, on these character people. 
But if you would have noticed in the last video, she was indeed, you know, portrayed as a, a black man. So this is like a creative, creative reimagining, just like the new Human Torch in the Fantastic Four movie, you know. All right, we got this. I'm gonna send Tommy Lee Jones' eyebrows to investigate. Um, Pug wearing a hat. Why don't you go and help him out, though? Can you get that far? Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good combo. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones' Jones eyebrows and a pug wearing a hat. That's, that's like a buddy cop movie right there, frankly. Although it might be not a lot of dialogue, frankly, in that in that movie. It'd be like a lot of like intense looks at things, you know, very pantomime. -y. I can't imagine that there's too many people left. Like most of this city. It's pretty empty. Shant Gibbons goes and takes a look in the back corner here of Washington. The back corner. Yeah, this is this represents all of Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen. The whole thing. All right, we're getting to the end of our video. I'm just going to finish up this turn. This is going a lot better than, you know, what happened in Nairobi, where we lost so many great people. Like Jack Bauer. Like, that frankly weighs on me quite a bit. You know, I, I like, was awake for most of this week just thinking about Jack Bauer, you know. Alright. Well, all right, hang on a second. I'm going to see what the aliens do on their turn. Oh. Oh. Random guy. Walking on the street. Well, there is not a lot that happened. Well, I'm thinking there must be, like, one guy left. So... We'll get them in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time on Let's Play XCOM with Rico the Puppet.